Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems. We're going to talk today about the Radtail RT630 waterproof radio. What you're looking at is the programmer for it from RT Systems. We're going to make programming this radio just as easy as we can for you. You see across the top, we have receive and transmit frequency, offset, offset direction, and lots of other things that apply to your radio, where in truth, the only really important ones are these. Receive and transmit frequency, offset direction, name, tones. That will get you going. That will get you on the air. The rest of the options are for advanced features that you may or may not be using, especially if you're just getting started with it. So let me go back up to edit and remove simple mode so we can see everything. And after you download and install, the first thing you're going to do, you plug the radio in using the RT Systems USB K4Y cable. You notice there's COM port set up in the program. If you're using the RT Systems cable, you can ignore that. We will find our cable automatically. If you are using another cable that you have installed properly, you know you have a COM port set up. You've checked in Device Manager for that. You will use COM port set up and set it to the correct COM port. The COM port setup will even let you go directly to Device Manager and check your ports. But remember, none of that is necessary if you're using the RT Systems cable. So we're just going to leave this at none and click OK to close it. Communications and Get Data from Radio tells you to plug in the cable. Then we turn the radio on and we click OK to start. Finds it, does its thing, and nothing changes on the screen. This is a default file. What I'm holding in my hand is a new radio. has nothing else programmed in it. So let's get around to that. Let's go right here. And to make it really easy, let's go to Repeater Book. Your zip code is a great way to start, maybe 50 miles around, because you're going to be carrying your radio with you when you go. Two meters and 440, and OK. I'm going to go to the bottom of this page. I know I have 10 characters for my name. Think about taking 10 characters out of these lists. Is it going to be something that you'll understand? So I can set it to none. So I'll see the frequencies, and I'm going to take out P25, D star, and DMR. Didn't even have to hunt for them. I'm going to come right up here to the top to distance. Now, my nearest repeater is at the top of my list, and I go out from there as the channel numbers get higher. I realize this takes you all over the page, and I'm going to create the file. This file's ready to program my radio. I have frequencies, I have tones, just like I need them. I then do settings and radio menu settings because what you see on this page is not all of your radio. Here is the rest of it. So my channel display, I have a top and a bottom on this radio. So I'm going to leave the top at channel and frequency and I'm going to turn the bottom to channel and name. So I have this display, and if you have names filled in, you could put one of them on frequency and one of them on name. But keep in mind that the radio does not sync when you change channels on A. It does not change it on B. So 
it's the same information, the frequency and whatever you named the repeater, if you're on the same channel number. If that's more than you want to deal with, let's just leave them both at channel and frequency. Work mode is memory for both the top and the bottom. That'll make it easier when you get it there. Auto backlight. I promise you, you want to either bring it up to as high as it can go or turn auto backlight off. Because I can't tell you how many times we've put away radios that look like they are off. And the next time we pick them up, we turn that knob and realize that radio's been laying there on. And now the battery's dead. So we save ourselves by always turning it off, which leaves the backlight on all the time. Okay, there are other things here. You can find explanations in your manual. Or this is ham radio. Experiment. See what the radio does with it. DTMFs, ANIs, these are some very special functions. If you're not actually involved with them, just let everything stay at the defaults. Close, apply changes and close. And then when I do communications and send data to radio, just this quick and easy. I have all of these channels in my radio, and I'm ready to go out and play. I'm ready to listen for new friends and make contacts on the local repeaters. Have fun with your new radio. I hope you find the programming easy. If you have questions, we're here for tech support. We'll be happy to answer them for you. So this is Karen. If you think you can, or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. 73s.